The eyes are my favorite part of the body to draw. It's so captivating, staring into your own eyes, your own creation. I believe you can see one's soul when you gaze into someone's eyes. Some can't even hold eye contact when you take a deep dive into their soul. Often they get nervous or agitated, and sometimes they look right back into your soul. When I draw eyes, I really try to get the shape and the curves. The shape of the eye represents the personality and the mood of an individual. When looking into someone's eyes, you can tell their whole story from beginning to end. If you see my previous video, you should have an idea how to shape the eyes. And once you've shaped your eyes, begin adding the eyelashes and try to figure out how your eyebrows should be placed. Notice how I shade around my eyes and how I try to capture the curves by adding light and darkness. And for my eyebrows, once I've shaped it, you might notice that I shade in the eyebrows with a dark gray. And once that's shaded in, I begin to add lines on top, thin little lines that represent each and every single hair. And each hair flows seamlessly in one direction. Normally our hair grows towards one specific direction. So notice, the shaded part will make the eyebrows feel filled, and each and every single line will add its own little texture. The eyeball and the pupil are my favorite parts on the eyes to draw. It's really reflective, and when you stare deep into the eyes, you can see someone's true colors. The center of the eye, the pupil, the darkest spot should be the darkest, while the outer, the iris, should be a brighter color, and the perimeter of the iris is slightly darker than the overall iris. Try to smudge it out so the iris is reflective, but make sure the pupil remains dark. You can see I add a white dot to signify the direction of the light to where it's coming from. The side where the white light is, is a lot brighter than the other side. Now that everything's filled in, I just need to do the last part, which is to shade in the eyes. You must try to feel out the eyes, feel the contours, try to make it have texture and shape. I shade a lot of the curves dark and I add light to really get the shape in. Drawing eyes is really fun once you've drawn it a few times. You really start to get the hang of it and really start to enjoy the process. So I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed your time drawing eyes. So have a great day. Bye.